the question was, what's the biggest thing you've ever eaten? And I said, well, I ate a Whopper one time in one bite. And Kurt goes, why, you're kidding me. There's no way. And no way, no way. You can't do that. And he goes, no, no, I can stick a whole Whopper in my mouth. But we were like, you can do what? P entire Whopper in his mouth at one time and eat it. Uh, we, were, we, were, we were all mesmerized. A good friend of mine, Doug Robichak, news columnist for the Observer, enticed him to do it. And uh, I thought, you know, there are players worried about their dignity and how they look and how they're dressed. And here's Kempton. He was so confident that he could do it, and Robichek just kept egging him on, saying it was impossible. There was a re uh, reporter right behind me, and he picked up on it and kind of ran with it. And that led to a bet of, you know, for charity. And we did it uh, over at Bill Duke's Longhorn Steakhouse. And, one whopper and shoved it in my mouth and ate it. And the idea that Tim just took this thing, folded it in half, and was able to get his mouth far enough open that it, that it actually happened. I remember some of his teammates, if I remember right, got on him about it saying, man, you don't want to do this to your image. We were like, eh, maybe Coach wouldn't like that a lot, and he did not. Uh, Dick Harder did not particularly like it the next day of practice. He didn't care about his image. He just wanted to show that he could put a whole Whopper in his mouth. And I did. It was on the front page of the Charlotte Observer. Had the big old Whopper stuck right in his mouth. So <laughs> Tim was a character, though. It was, uh, yeah, he probably be the only one could do that. And lo and behold, he shoved the whole Whopper in one bite in, into his mouth. And the Charlotte Observer was there, and they took these pictures. So the next morning after that practice, I'm eating my cereal and I'm turning the pages of the Charlotte Observer. And then there's a picture of Tim Kempton with that Whopper in his mouth. His cheeks are out to here. I spit my cereal out. And I can still see him. You know, half the, you know, the lettuce and stuff like that's all coming out of his mouth as he's eating it. We were hysterical. So I had to cut it out. I had to put it in the locker room so everybody could see it, which Tim didn't like too much, but it was pretty funny. That was a talent that was hidden that we never knew anything about. And uh, he displayed it. I had done it before, so I knew I could do it. So I did it in high school, obviously, a bunch of, you know, high school kids sitting around. That's how it started. And uh, they put their mind to something, they did it. And he ate a Whopper because he said he could. But, uh, you know, he did it, got some money to charity, and, and true story.